Darren, after two away games on the bounce, we're back at home. Do you welcome that after sort of the current form? Yeah, I mean, I could sit here and dwell on the last two performances, you know, but I'm, I'm not going to, you know. We've, we've played 10, 11 games and all barring two of them, I've been really pleased with our application and our effort and how we've approached games and how we've played in games. But, you know, obviously the last two games are fresh in our mind and they're the ones that people discuss and, and we've spoke about. Um, but we've got to put it behind us. It, they're two bad days for us. In particular, on Tuesday was a really bad day. But we've we've tried to lift the boys. There's 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 a definite change in confidence after two poor performances. So there's no magic wand to get the confidence back. But what we need to do is go out and work as hard as we possibly can to to find the quality that we was playing with before them two games. Um, so you know we got we've got a lot of young boys here that you know need help. They need they need a bit of guidance and they need some help. And that's what we're here to do. We're just reminding them of their capabilities and how good they can be. Um, but majority of the time it stems from hard work. So that's certainly one area that we need to improve on. Obviously, following the game, you made your feelings on the performance pretty clear. Have you got the response from the boys that you wanted following those two defeats? Tomorrow will give me that answer. You know, you can, we can anyone can respond in training. That's not the time. I mean, they've been focused and they've been um, their attitude's been good in training. You know, we've we've gone over what's happened in in the last two games. But like I say, I, I don't wish to dwell on it too much. It's been discussed, and the only way to sort of put it behind you is to roll your sleeves up and, and work hard again for each other. Because like I say, we was in a we was in a, a really good place just just a week ten days ago, um, and that's football. It can change very quickly, but. Likewise, it can also change back the other way very quickly as well. We face Solly Hull. I was going to ask you what you're expecting from them, but is tomorrow more about righting the wrongs that we've been making ourselves and looking at our own game? I tend to look at football that much, uh, sorry, that way anyway. You know, we, we, we always show respect to the opponent and, and touch on what they're about, but, you know, tomorrow, maybe more than ever before this season, you know, we, we, our previous games, we've been good and it's been about us. Um, we, need to, we need to find that again and, and make it about us tomorrow. So, yeah, 100% the majority of our work this week has been on, on us and how we get back to what we was doing with, with some nice football and some good attacking play and some confidence. Um, so, majority of the time anyway, I, I, I focus a lot of our efforts on, on us. And we finally have some good news going into this game in terms of squad selection. How's it looking going into this one? I'm really hopeful. Um, we've had one or two train this week, uh, which has been really pleasing. I'm really hopeful um, that we've got an extra one or two that we can select from tomorrow, which will make us stronger and, and more experienced. And, you know, the, the, the young boys have done brilliant. I've got to be honest, they've done brilliant. You know, the, the, and the inexperienced ones, should I say, not so much young because it's just a number, but certainly the, the, the less experienced ones have, have done well and it's been a tough learning curve uh, the last couple of games. But as I stated in the week, we do need some of our more experienced ones back and, uh, and our more senior ones back just to, just to guide the young ones and the, and the inexperienced ones. But, you know, we're in it together, so um, it will take all of us that's everyone at the club, all of us together to, to pull together and turn around a, a, a bad week for us. Obviously, following the game, you asked for leaders. Does having that that wider selection now only help that cause of getting those leaders back out on the pitch? Yeah, they're important, aren't they? Because they're, they're a bit wiser in situations like last Saturday and Tuesday where you may be not performing to your levels and, you know, in particular Tuesday night, everyone's looking around for someone else to, you know, and we had... Cal trying to talk, he's, he's obviously um, experienced, but you know, looking around the rest of the team, there wasn't too much experience. And listen, it, it, it played its part the other night, but what I need is people to come out the other side and show a bit of character, roll their sleeves up, work as hard as they can, 
and do the things that they've already shown that they can do and, and just get back on track as quick as they can for their sake as much as anyone because you know I've been really pleased with how they started the season and I don't really want too much focus on uh, the last two performances having said that we can't stick our head in the sand either it's they were two bad days and it's it's only going to take hard work and us sticking together that will bring us out the other side.